We have Grandmaster Isil Narayanan, who has defeated Botswana number one, Providence Otel, who is uh, Congratulations, Isil. How was your game? It wasn't so hard, I would say. Like, he surprised me in the opening. I had some ideas, but um, this exact position with Knight C4, uh, I don't know, Bishop C5, I, I didn't know. Like, I thought Bishop F8, they, I mean, I had something similar in my preparation. I had to go and check. Uh, so I didn't prepare for this game, but in general I had some ideas. And after Bishop C5 D6, I I think he was close to equalizing, but he failed to find this. I think uh, some point Queen B8 I thought was very strong. And okay, maybe I'm slightly better or something, but over the board I thought it was just equal. I couldn't uh, understand properly what was going on. So then he okay once the position became tactical, I think my pieces were better coordinated for any action and. Um, almost all the tactics favored me. I won a piece, and again another tactics with knight h6 and knight into f7. I thought here he had to play rook g8, and I was planning maybe knight g5 or something. His king is too weak; it should be lost, uh, like knight 7 g5. I thought because after king f7, queen h7, king f8, knight h4, knight f4, rook e7, it's just checkmate. So I think yeah, it was a good start. So in your bracket you have Gukesh in the third round. So if everything goes well, you are supposed to face him. So what do you have to say about it? I think for me the second round is going to be much more tougher. I think because with Gukesh I have played many games and so on. Against Kusubo I never played. So also he is very strong player who has been like 2700 in his peak. So I think like the second round will be much more exciting for me. Uh, Kuzubov or uh, TC Mohammed, whom would you like to face? I want to play against the stronger player because it's a great opportunity to play against them and see like how well you are able to cope up with your nerves and so on. So I think I prefer obviously the stronger one, Kuzubo. Speaking of great opportunity, I think this is your second consecutive World Cup. So what do you have to say about your experience playing in the World Cup? Yeah, not the consecutive one. In 2019 I played, then this year. Uh, okay, that time it was like 128 player system and first first round I lost to Anton Guiaro and then second round I had I won in a must win situation and in the tie break I played quite poorly because I had some problems with my opening repertoire but here I think okay, I'm also I'm very calm in general here I don't know maybe because the first experience helped but I'm just taking it game by game if I play a good game and win it's fine. Thank you, Isil, for your valuable time. I wish you all the best for your next game. Thank you.